Hello everybody and welcome back to the Mongoolie Show. Today we're taking a look at the weekly blog where we're going to be unlocking Peter B. Parker this week with a whole host of different events. We've also got X-Men or the Extreme X-Men becoming farmable and some changes to Dark Dimension 7 and ways that we're going to be getting even more Crimson Gear and raids. And of course, Vral in chat just reminded me, I am running a sponsorship right now for Warhammer 40k Tacticus. So if you're willing to download that game on your phone, if you've never played it before, uh, there'll be a link down below. Hit that download button, give the game a try. I'm actually really enjoying it with this one. This is one that I was looking forward to for a long time. I first saw the sponsorship back in January. I was playing the game thinking like, okay, I'll play the game for a little bit, figure out how it works, and then I'll do the sponsorship. And the sponsorship went away before I could click on it. So that was on my bad. I've been waiting until now, so what, four months to do this one again. So I'm really excited about this one. I'm actually really enjoying the game. Hit that link, play along with me, join my guild, all good things. We'll be having videos on that on Twitch over the next couple of days. Let's get into it. All right, so the first thing we're going to see is that the Extreme X-Men, the team members that aren't already farmable, are becoming farmable. We don't know the exact date for this, but we can expect this to happen within the next week, maybe two. We're going to be dating Nightcrawler in the Cosmic Crucible store, Forge in the War store, and Sunspot is going to Hard Heroes 4.6, replacing Anti-Venom. But if you don't have Anti-Venom fill all the way, he is still going to be in the Arena store, so you can get him there. Pavita Parker is coming to the game on Monday at 2 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can buy him for uh, 675 power cores, and I'm sure there will be lots of offers in the actual store if you want to just purchase him right away. You can get up to 180 uh, shards, I'm told. I don't actually believe that, but, you know, you can tempt for it. Peter B. Parker is coming to the game for free-to-play players this week, and that's fantastic news. Now, the tough part about this is it's one of those events that we had a little while ago where you're actually going to be doing a different thing every single day of the week. Now, for a player, I think this event is fantastic. I really like the idea of not having to do the exact same thing every single day for seven days. He has to switch up. As a content creator, this is kind of a nightmare because <laughs> I can't really break this math down all that well because I won't necessarily know things until the day of. So it makes that tougher. But we'll go over what we do know. We know that we're going to be doing ISO 8 campaign nodes, quick rumble blitz milestones, and campaign energy. And then as far as each day goes, we're going to be doing the daily Revenge of the, Bl uh, Revenge of the Blitz web milestone. We'll get into that one in a second. You're going to have a login calendar for five days. You're going to do the daily free claims on the web, which you should be doing anyways. Limited ISO 8 hard campaign nodes for 48 hours as of Wednesday and Thursday. We don't know what the payout for those nodes are going to be, but we know what we're going to be doing. And then blitz battles for milestone event progress in the quick rumble for 48 hours on Friday and Saturday. Now let's take a look at that chart. And you can see that you're going to get campaign energy paid out at a 7 to 1 ratio, which is actually really, really good. Now it does cap out at 56,000, which is about... 1140 energy every single day so it's just the tiniest bit more than you're going to get normally when you spend 200 power cores every day you collect everything you're supposed to collect you'll get 1108 so it's just a little bit higher than that which isn't too bad to do probably means you're going to need to spend 100 power cores one of the days but other than that not too bad the earned planetary orb fragments are at a one-to-one -one ratio, and we'll break that down in a second. You can see that you're going to get 75 Peter B. Parker shards, which is not enough to unlock him. But again, the planetary orb fragments will almost guaranteed have him in them, so you should get the unlock from this. There's also 10 leader shards, a bunch of gamma pants, and the flower patch. I don't know anything about the leader, but the um, the items this month that we're unlocking, the oil tanker, the flower patch, like the, it's weird. I don't understand it. Uh, there's also Diamond Orb Fragments and a bunch of Crimson Gear if you can make it down low enough. And uh, 3.75 million gold is actually not bad, but it will require you getting all the way down to Milestone 18. Now, starting on Tuesday, there's going to be a Blitz event going on. It's going to be daily, but it's going to repeat itself six times so you can do it seven days in a row. What you need to do is get 2,500 Blitz credits. So you do need to actually win. It's not one of those ones where you can just play Blitzing. But 2,500 isn't too bad. If there's 55 teams in the game and you can actually manage to get all those wins in, it should only take you about three rotations a day. With the one-hour cooldown, that's actually pretty doable. Now, if you can get all these Earthling needed milestone points, that'll be 6,000 points, and you're going to get 8,000 points of the planetary orb fragment for 14,000 points every single day towards that event, which I forget, but I think it was about 98,000 points towards the event total if you do this seven days in a row. I'll have the actual math breakdown for this event on Monday, so hit subscribe and come back Monday so that you know what the actual event is going to look like. 
As of Wednesday the 17th, you're going to have an alliance-wide event where you're going to want to spend power cores and earn allied supply four orb fragments. Both of those are going to be at a ratio of one to one. So work with your alliance to get as far down in this event as you can. It's not going to help towards you unlocking Peter B. Parker, but it will help you towards the month-long event with a bunch of gamma rays available to you. There's not a whole lot to say about this one. Just spend your campaign, uh, spend your ISO8 energy to work towards this. And the last event said you're going to want to spend ISO8 energy as well. So you can double dip on this event, which is kind of nice. The quick rumble blitz this week is actually pretty important because you're going to get 12,000 planetary orb fragments towards the weekly event, which is really good for unlocking Peter B. Parker. So you can get towards that by using your seven star superior six characters or three star or five star. You know how this blitz works. We don't have to explain this all that much. Just make sure you do actually do it this week because it matters towards the week long event. Okay, a couple quick things we're going to touch on for Dark Dimension. They've done some updates, nothing really huge, but just kind of nice quality of life things. First off, when you beat Dark Dimension, any Dark Dimensions, there's a 24-hour waiting period before you can start up and do it again. The nice thing is they've changed that from 24 hours to one hour. So if you're ready, if your team makes through that final event and you've got them ready to go, you can start it up again right away, which I think is actually a really nice addition, and I'm not sure why they didn't have that from the beginning. Also, the newest one, Dark Dimension 7, is going to be at the start of the wheel. Now that there's seven of them, they didn't want to have to make you scroll through every single time you want to get to Dark Dimension 7. It's going to be right at the very front. After that, it's going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So if you're still working on 6, you will still have to scroll, unfortunately. But for newer players, they're going to be able to find Dark Dimension 1 very, very easily. And for uh, long-term players, they can find Dark Dimension 7 really easily. So I think this is pretty decent. And speaking of Dark Dimension 7, Beta Ray Bill cleared it again for the first time, which is fantastic for him. I think he's done it twice now, so he's actually got Big Boy Mephisto, which is actually pretty cool. And because of this, they're doing another one of those celebrations where they're going to let us choose which characters we want to get shards for. And I think they mentioned they're going to give us seven red stars for this character as well. Now, for a lot of us endgame players, seven red stars don't mean what they used to. But for newer players, getting seven red stars and 100 shards of a really decent high-end character is really nice. So even if you're high-end and you're like, okay, I already have Nightcrawler, let's say, at seven yellow and seven red, this does nothing for me. Keep in mind, there's a large chunk of the community that doesn't have those, and we can help those players out as well. Head over to the Player's Voice Discord page and make your vote on what characters you want to have unlocked in that event. The developers took a look at the Spider Society and agreed with the community when they said, we want to have this team, they're good, they could be better, let's make some tiny little improvements. So there's nothing crazy here, but what they did do is they took Spider-Man Pavitar from 50% focus to 100% focus, which is going to make a big difference. Penny Parker's speed increased to 122, and Peter B. Parker's speed increased to 124. Now, people are talking about, is this team that you can skip? Is it not? How is this going to work? And the developers talked about that as well when they said, you are really going to want this team for the skill node for raids, obviously. But on top of that, they're going to be an important part of Kyle's tower, Kiln, Kyle, whatever. They spelt it wrong here. It's supposed to be Kiln or... Well, I don't know what the hell the name is. You know what I'm talking about. That tower, they're going to be a part of that, as well as they will be required for a new raid. Now, they don't tell us what this raid is, but speculation is looking towards something like maybe the Gambit raid from uh, two years ago, where you had to have very specific characters in very specific areas. We don't know a whole lot about this one. This is all speculation, but that's an interesting thing. That there's a new raid coming that they're going to be required for. We're also going to notice that there are going to be some raid reward improvements starting next season where we're going to be getting increased amounts of Crimson Gear. It doesn't give us an exact amount of what Crimson Gear we're going to be getting or how we're going to actually earn that. But if you're already doing 2.3, you can expect that your rewards are going to just get better than what they already are, which is nice because I'm already pretty happy with the Crimson Gear that I've been receiving. You might have noticed that some of the showcases that have been coming out, you're able to get really, really far in them. You can actually do three different tiers as a free-to-play player because you will have the entire team unlocked before the showcase goes away. Well, with some of them, including the most recent one, you can only actually get two of them done before the showcase goes away. We complained about that, Scopely Listen, and they're saying for now they're going to strive towards making it playable for all three tiers for free to play players you have to be highly engaged you have to be unlocking these characters within a reasonable amount of time but as long as you can do that even if you can do it for free you will get all three tiers which i think is a great change it does mention this is subject to change so i'm sure there's going to be a character somewhere down the road where they're like no this is a very important character like a black knight let's say this is a very important character we're not going to give him to you for free right away like that so maybe you can only do two down there down the road like that but right here right now they're going to try and make it so that every single one you can do three three tiers at, and I think that's a great change. 
There are also some bugs they're fixing, including that stupid little red dot in your mailbox. They're saying that is a client issue, so it won't be able to get fixed until they do a future app update. That's unfortunate because that thing drives me insane, but so be it, at least they're aware of it and they're fixing it. The other thing they're talking about is the open all orb button. Now the problem with that is if they just put it back in the game right now, there are people like myself who have literally thousands of orbs that I want to unlock. And if I just hit that open all button like that, along with 10,000 members in the community, that will just crash the game and we're right back where we started. So they need to figure out a way to roll that out slowly so that they can give me a chance to do all my orbs and then I'm done and they can move on to the next, I don't know, 500 people, 1,000 people, whatever the numbers need to be. So that this client, sorry, so that these servers can stay stable and the game stays up even when people are doing those things. I think this is unfortunate because I want this right now, but at the same time, they're right. The game stability is the number one thing. That's what's important. So let's give them a little bit of time so they can figure that out. All right, and that's all we've got for the weekly blog today. This re was recorded live over at twitch.tv slash The Mongoolie Show. So you can head over there and hit that follow button so you can see when we go live. We record on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Saturdays. So come on over, hang out with me, get your questions asked in real time. It's a fun time. If you made it this far in the video, make sure you hit that like button. You probably did enjoy it if you made it this far. And if you want to, hit subscribe so you know when content like this goes live going forward. Other than that, Commanders, you have a great week. And as always, good luck to you.